for automotive technicians or HVAC technicians who want to up their game in electronics, especially getting into board level circuitry repair, City College, San Francisco. This was from my electrical engineering uh, degree course. And this is basically one of the books of many that you'll be going over for your next two and a half years while you're attending the electrical engineering degree. Basically, this, if, if you don't like math, this will make your brain go numb. When I uh, transferred out of Laney, taking the Laney College electrical courses, I found that rather easy. But when I transferred over and I started to retake the program because I wasn't quite satisfied with the Laney College one as an upper degree level, as a more in depth. <sighs> Be careful what you wish for because the instructors I got really hard on the homework. Um, a lot of homework, ungodly amount of homework, a lot of math, more math than I ever want to ever see again in my life. But it was a really good program. One thing I noticed between colleges is the level and the degree of um, training. And uh, here, this instructor, one of the first instructors in the first two semesters, he worked for Hewlett Packard for like 35 years in uh, R&D and design. And uh, one of your projects will be if you take the degree class. We're building one of your own, uh, a Class B amplifier push-pull. And actually, this is the schematic for it. And this is one of our your projects that you'll be building. First, you design, you look at the circuit board, and uh, you have the basic principles of what you'll be using. Then you lay it out in uh, a wiring diagram. Then here's the circuit board design before you uh, ever go you know, designing everything or having anything made or get a circuit board. Then in class, you'll prototype it, prove that it works. I actually um, scavenged the parts off of here because once I got it working, I switched it over to the circuit board so most everything is missing off of here. This was what I prototyped it on first. And then as you get to your finished product, this is what you do for your finished product. Another item you'll first, on your very first class, you'll build a power supply and the power supply will be for your future preamp and amplifier. And this is your class B amplifier that's described in both in the book and you go over in class. And this will be one of your, one of your many class products, uh, projects that you'll finish. And uh, that's about it on uh, that you'll have a lot of fun if you like uh, dabbling in electronics and you want to be uh, also ask all the questions you ever want from instructors who actually work in the field not just instructors who teach out of a book they actually work for companies um, designing and developing uh, electronics uh, it's a big difference when you work or when you're taking a class from an instructor who never really worked in the real world and an instructor that spent his whole life in uh, developing electronics and becomes an instructor. That's all. I'll catch you guys later. And this is just a quick example of what you'll be going through for the next two and a half years. And uh, yeah, I'm not so much in memorizing the math formula. It's a little bit beyond me. And that's the ISBN number. Where's the ISBN number? That's not there. That's the ISBN number. Hmm. I guess they have it covered up there in the back. Oh, well. But that's the book. All right. See you guys. Oh, and for class, you will have your little box of goodies. When you show up in class, uh, they have you going through that little green book I showed you the other day. Uh, you'll constantly be doing little mini projects that you do really fast every day in class. So you have hands on, hands on, hands on, lots of hands on building. Okay. And I have bad eyes. I couldn't read resistors. And uh, so I cheated. And I'd measure all the resistors because 
my eyes were bad and I put big pieces of tape on them and then stuck them in here so when I had to select them I didn't have to look at the little lines and colors like when you have to sit, see that those are all different every one of those are different and you have to read them and uh yeah I cheat all right